Welcome to MedicalMarijuanaBootCamp.com. I'm Chips. I'm Tank. And uh, today we're going to answer a common question, and that is, how do I get started opening my own dispensary? Uh, by far. Hear me. All the time. There it is. So, um, I mean, the first thing you need, you need a plan. Always, 99%, uh, Steve, Steve Tuck, our, our growing expert in the boot camp, he said, uh, a grow is 99% preparation and 1% execution. And <laughs> I so, agree with that. I agree with that. So, um, so, I mean, you need a plan. So, how, where did you start, Jobs? Um, research and then a plan. You know, um, plan, like you said, plan is the most important part. Um, but when you're going into putting your plan together, you obviously the more information, the more yeah, how, how, how did you? Well, I mean, how do you make a plan? Uh, the internet. First thing I did, um, I researched the topic. You, you Google how to start a medical marijuana collective. There's very little information out there, but there is some information out there. Um, for the most part, what we're doing right here is going to help out a lot of people, a lot of people. But it's like anything else. You need a plan. You need to let. You need to figure out what you're trying to do, what you want to do, and then put in writing. Always put it in writing. Writing just puts everything, it's, it's tangible, you see it, it's there. Put your plan in writing and say, this is what I would like to do, this is where I'm going, and then do it. You know, that's the way you do it. The business plan is everything. Business plan is, is strong. Research business plans. Just because you're opening a medical marijuana collective doesn't mean a traditional business plan does not apply. It definitely applies. It, it applies 110% actually. Yeah. Uh, research traditional business plans. That's, that's one, advice, one piece of advice I could give. Nonprofit business plans. For sure, and definitely in California. I mean, you got to be nonprofit. Um, once you get the nonprofit side down, um, you know, just look at a couple other business plans. There are places out there. There are collectives out there that, that have their mission statement and stuff like that posted on their websites. Um, HarborsideHealthCenter.com being one of them. Um, but I can't, I can't say strong enough how important a plan is because if not, you're just you're going to spread yourself real thin. Um, if you have a limited budget that you're working with, and not planning will kill you. Your budget will dwindle so quick. Um, I, I, I would recommend, um, uh, in this type of business, um, two uh, initial plans. One legal and one business. So the legal plan is how you're going to incorporate. Um, are you going to incorporate as a collective nonprofit? Are you going to incorporate as an association, um, which is what a lot of people are opting to now. Right, the unincorporated un unincorporated nonprofit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, there's, so there's several different types. And, of and we'll touch on all. The, I don't mean to interrupt you. Yeah. We'll, and we'll touch on all these later. Yeah. Um, just so you guys know, we're just you know I know we're we're dropping a lot of terms and a lot saying a lot of things that, that you know a lot, confuse a lot of people or they've never even heard of. Them. Yeah. And we'll clear this up for sure. Um, but we're just touching on, on, on how important a plan is. Exactly. So, you know, you and your lawyer are going to sit down and you're going to go through all the different types of incorporations you could set up, your non your nonprofit has, and, you know, what type of model. And then on the other side, the business side, you're going to do things like budgeting, you're going to do things like resource allocation, um, you're going to have like, advertising. Yeah, marketing. You know, you want to look into all of that prior SWAT to analysis. Hopefully, prior to spending dollar one. Yeah. You know, that's, and it's going to save you money and time in the long run for sure. Um, so, you know, for those of you asking, you know, how do I start my collective, put a plan together, you know, and that, and go from there. And, and you'll find that, you know, once you have your plan in place, you'll feel a lot more confident in asking questions and, and going to other people for additional information to go into the further steps. Um, to get any sort of credible investor that's not your, your boy, you're going to have to have things in writing that specifically say how much you're going to make this month, by how many patients, by how much per average in sales, and... And uh, it's got to be broken up every month, every day of that month, just like that. Yeah, if you're looking for the, those of you out there looking for investors, oh my gosh, are they going to want to see? So, like you said, if it's not someone you know, a friend of the family, you know, anything like that, um, they want they want numbers. They want it on paper. They want it in writing. They want you know, they want PowerPoint. They want you know, they want to see as much information, you know, projections, and everything. That plan is crucial. Um, get help. Don't just put a one-page plan together and say, here's my plan. Uh, I want to open a collective. I, you know, you really need to put the uh, the time into putting some details into it, and it'll pay off in the long run. It definitely, definitely will. Uh, I'm Chubbs, medicalmarijuanabootcamp.com. I'm Tag. Peace. Peace.